Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to use the video and audio tool in Moodle when you are posting in a discussion or submitting an assignment that allows for online text. So, when you go into your course and you go to somewhere that there is, say, a discussion, so I'm going to scroll here to this discussion that says discussion for class. I'll click on it. I'll have a prompt here that tells me what to do. And then when I want to add a discussion topic, I'm going to select add discussion topic. I have to give it a title, so I'm just going to call it my post. And then once I ha am ready to do my message, right? I see this message. This is the error that I'll type in the text. Take a look at the toolbar. That's this bar right here that has the different formatting features. And you'll notice right over here towards the right, there's one that looks like a microphone and there's one that looks like a video camera. The one that looks like a microphone is if I want to do audio recording. The one that looks like a camera is the one that I would use if I want to do a video. So I am gonna select the video. So I select the video, it's gonna say start recording. And so if I hover over that, I select start recording. The first time when I do this, it will give me this message here that you should be able to kind of see. And it's basically asking me, do I want to allow Moodle to uh, use my camera and microphone? I do in this case. And so I'm going to allow this. And the second I allow it, and here's something to remember, the second I allow it, it's going to start recording. So notice I hit allowed and now it is already recording. Right down at the bottom here, you'll see it says stop recording and there's a countdown. So when I record, I have only two minutes. I can do another video after this, but if, if I'm doing this video, it's only two minutes long. So say I'm going along, I give my spiel, everything's great, I can hit stop. And now at this point, I have a choice. I can either record again, so maybe I don't like it and I want to go again, or I'm ready and I can attach the video. But just know if you hit record again, whatever you just said is gone. Um, so just keep that in mind is that, oops, you know, if you hit record again, you are starting from fresh. So if everything looks good, I'm going to hit attach recording. It's going to take a second to upload. And so I'm just going to pause for that. And so when it finishes, it will upload right into that message area. So there it is. There's my video. I can always test it by pressing play. Um, but I, oop, and now it's good to go. If I wanted to add another one, I'd have to enter a few, uh, click next to it and hit enter a few times. And then I could also, if I did a video, I could also do another video or I could do audio. And you'll notice audio is the exact same way. So I select audio. It asks me to start recording. And then now it just starts recording. Again, if it's the first time I'm using it, I'm going to get a prompt that says, do you want to? And I say yes. And then it will keep recording. I hit stop recording. Again, I can play and listen to what I just said and decide I want to record again. Or I can just hit attach. Once I hit attach, notice the little audio player shows up there. And if I'm done, then I hit post to forum. And there is my post. If I click on it, I can see there's my video and there's my audio. So you can do this within discussions. But what's also cool is that if you are in a course and you have an assignment by an instructor that allows you to add a submission and within that submission, provides you this online text space for, that you can type into. Notice you get the same toolbar and you within this toolbar, again, you have that audio and that video tool. So anywhere you see the audio or video uh, icon means that's a place where you can do a video or audio recording. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much.